For this installation, you will need a metal prying tool, a plastic prying tool, and a T3 Torx screwdriver. For the iPad 3G model, you will start with the iPad as shown. Have the iPad home button facing to your left and the volume buttons will be facing towards you. Starting at the points shown, you will insert the metal prying tool in between the seam of the backplate and the glass digitizer's mid-frame. The goal is to pull the mid-frame from the backplate. There are a series of small metal clips attached to the mid-frame with screws. The metal clips push outward against the back plate internally. This pressure is what keeps the screen assembly in the iPad. In this step you are attempting to push against those clips, thus relieving the pressure and allowing the mid-frame to come free from the back plate. This step is the most time consuming and so you will want to be very careful and very patient when attempting to remove the glass digitizer with mid-frame from the back plate. Once the front screen assembly with the mid-frame is loose, you will then begin disconnecting the internal cables. The first cable is the 3G antenna cable, shown here. If you have the Wi-Fi only model, skip this step. The next cable is the LCD cable. Pull the black tab to release the gold hinge. Now pull the cable straight out of the receptacle as shown. The third cable is for the ambient light sensor. Remove that as shown here. The iPad will open up somewhat like a book. And you will see the receptacles for the LCD cable, the digitizer, the ambient light sensor, and the 3G antenna, if applicable. We will now flip the black clips for the digitizer cable upward and remove the digitizer cable. Next, we remove the other end of the LCD cable, as shown. There are six T3 Torx screws that hold the LCD to the mid-frame. Remove these screws and save them for reinstallation.
Next, we will remove the strips of black tape along the side of the mid-frame. Save this tape and reuse it later when reassembling the iPad. Be careful not to tear the digitizer cable when removing the tape. Next, we will remove the LCD screen from the mid-frame by inserting a metal or plastic prying tool into the seam and gently lifting the screen from the mid-frame. Pivot the LCD screen as shown and turn it around so you can remove the antenna from the LCD screen. Do not remove the antenna from the mid-frame. Just peel the one half away from the LCD screen itself. If you have the Wi-Fi only model, skip this step. Shown here are the LCD and mid-frame separate from each other. Notice the antenna for the 3G model is still attached to the mid-frame. If you are replacing only the glass digitizer, then your next step is to pick the broken glass from the original mid-frame. Afterwards, skip ahead to the installation of the new glass digitizer. We will now remove and reuse a portion of the home button assembly shown here. Remove two Torx T3 screws shown here. and then remove the home button PCB as well as the plastic home button itself. We will now take our new mid-frame and remove the adhesive along the frame. Make sure to remove the adhesive covering the through holes as well. Turn the mid-frame over and reinstall the home button PCB using the two screws. Turn the mid-frame over again and do a dry run with the home button to make sure you feel the pop or click when pushing it. Now take the new glass digitizer and peel the film from the back and then the front.
Remove the home button itself and assemble the glass and frame as shown. Before sealing the glass and frame, put your home button back in and make sure it is positioned correctly. Now gently press the glass and frame together to seal them. We will now take our original LCD screen and put it into the new mid-frame. It is at this point you will want to clean the LCD screen and the glass with a soft cloth like those used to clean eyeglasses. The LCD screen will still have its original adhesive on it and can be reused by simply putting the LCD into the frame as shown. Next, seat the ambient light sensor into the new frame. Now we fold the 3G antenna onto the LCD screen as shown here. We will now reconnect the LCD cable as shown, which is the same process as removing it only in reverse. Now reinstall the six T3 Torx screws securing the LCD to the mid-frame. Once the screws are reinstalled, we will now move to the black metal clips on the mid-frame. In removing the mid-frame, you may have damaged these clips. And if you need to replace them, do so as shown here. We will now reconnect the digitizer cable to the logic board. The white line on the cable is a guideline. To show in great detail how the LCD cable is reconnected in real time is difficult. So this shows you how the cable itself attaches, but you will be doing this while the screen is partially closed.
Next, reconnect the ambient light sensor to the logic board. The cable is shown here. Finally, we reconnect the 3G antenna cable to the logic board. We will now close the iPad by pushing the mid-frame into the back plate. This is done by seating the right side, the side with the volume buttons first, then pressing along the edges until you hear the clips pop into place as shown by our technician. Now turn on the iPad and test your work.